Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bread and I, Millimeter USA here. And today we've got a different type of Beretta for you. It's not the traditional 92, Beretta 92, and Beretta 96 that I really, really love. This one's a little bit different, as you've seen in the title. Push down here and pull, push down here and pull, and let's open this thing up. Here's your unboxing. Oh, wow. It is a plastic framed pistol. It is an APX Tactical Compact. First thing I want you to notice, it has different grip modules that you can use here in the frame of the pistol if you like. Also, it comes with what? One, two, three magazines? Are you serious? Now Beretta is stepping up to the plate, guys, and giving you three 15-round magazines in this little gun. Thank you. It is super cool looking. It is, what is that, OD green, Marine Corps green? You know I'm gonna like it. So there's that. The magazines are super cool. Thank you so much, Beretta, for giving us some magazines. And there it is, the APX Compact Tactical. We're gonna zoom in on this and take a better look and see exactly what we have. So we got a 15 plus one here, and it does have a very interesting trigger. It looks very uh, similar to the full-size APX guns from Beretta. This is great because you can put a suppressor on this little gun if you decide to fill more than just one roll. There's a lot of little guns that are this size, but how many of them can you stick a can on? How many? There's a few maybe. But this one right here sells at a very, very good price. Comes with multiple magazines for you. And it's all set up for your suppressor. It's also set up for your red dot right here. So if you want to stick a red dot or whatever on it, you can do that too. The sights that it come with are slightly raised to use with suppressor. And they are all blacked out. So if you want to put a touch of red paint or something like that on your front sight. Or if you just want to leave them all blacked out. There you go. Very nice pistol. Very nice looking pistol overall. Like a Glock 19 size. Right? except for you can put a can on it. It is striker fired as we talked about before. So you've got the striker fire right there with the little safety dingus right there. There's your mag release. So if you wanna pop your mag out, whoa, that's not bad. Like it. So it's very useful right there. Let's see, does this, this looks like, Okay, so there's your slide lock right there, and this is your takedown right here. So let's talk about how wide this thing is at 1.06 inches. So the width, the biggest width is 1.06. What's considered perfect on the small handgun scale? It's one inch, right? They're chasing one inch, and this is 1.06, so it's right next to perfect. It's got a little texturing going on right here, a little bit right here on these replaceable grips here. And then it looks like something here, but it's almost nothing. And this is good up here. This is really good on the front strap. Okay, so yeah, you're getting a good grab right here on the grip itself. And that gives you a really good feeling for this thing. Strong recoil spring in here. Yeah, and the trigger. Brand new, might have been fired at the factory. Wow. It's like you're pushing a heavy, heavier, wider clock trigger here. It'll take up right there as you saw. Can't really tell where it stops. Right there, I guess. Reset. Come back out to it. Now I stopped it pretty close and it still has a little bit of mush to the trigger and then it breaks. So let's see what that is. Four pounds, 15 ounces. So four pounds, 15 ounces on the first one. Let's try it again. Four pounds, 15 ounces is a respectable amount for a uh, polymer handgun, guys, in my opinion. Five pounds, five ounces. All right, so about an average of five and a half pounds on the trigger. Overall length is 7.47, sight radius is 5.7. It does say it's another home defense gun. I would agree with that. Of course, it's the APX family of guns. Weight comes in at 27.7 unloaded. So that is about the weight of a Glock 17. 27.7 ounces. Why is it heavier than a Glock 19, which is what it looks like? Well, I think it's this. You've got some weight right here in this suppressor setup barrel. So it's going to weigh a little bit more, which I think is okay. And that's about it, other than the really low price of 
$549 retail. So $549 is what they're putting it out for retail. What are they charging for it? If they're charging $499 for this, that puts it at like almost $200 less than a Glock without the suppressor barrel. That's bang for the buck, guys. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. If this thing runs great in the field and it's an effective home defense gun, it comes in with a half by 28 threaded barrel. So if that's what you're looking for is a half by 28 threaded barrel, which I think is the most popular one, then you have it right here for less than $500. If that's true, you know, and you're looking for something like that in the market for something like this, I think this is something you seriously should consider. Right here, it says it is made in Italy. I don't know if all of them are or just the, uh, the new compact version of the APX, but it's a good looking gun. I love the uh, OD grain. Obviously you knew I would because my prior military time, it says it fires without a magazine right there, which I don't know about you, but I want all my guns to fire without a magazine because if I lose the magazine in the struggle and I've got a round in the chamber, I want to be able to use that round if I need to, right? It says it has an extended beaver tail, not only offers superior recoil control, but also enhances comfort during extended shooting periods. So this is what they're talking about right here, this extended beaver tail. So always grab your gun as high as you can, guys. Get that web of your hand up as high as you can into the pistol. Now, the pistol should run without it hitting your hand, right? But as long as that, as long as that happens, you are good to go there. And obviously you're good to go. I'm good to go with this pistol. 15 plus one, 16 rounds. If I've got a suppressor on it, that's great. If I don't, maybe that's something I want to get into in the future. And I want something to be able to use to do that. That's my idea for less than $500. Thanks for watching the video guys on the Beretta APX Compact, the tactical version, OD green and black. I love it. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching the channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel for more guns and gear videos coming to you in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your second amendment is worth protecting.